Hi, welcome friends. Uh, this is the 10th session. It, uh, today we will be discussing on PySpark. How to improve on PySpark coding and how to improve your performance. Here we give a lot of tips on that. Uh, actually, uh, we will actually go through by discussing not just tips, but uh, we will be uh, giving uh, for a, a live example on that it's a nice example okay okay uh, so let's start so we are reverting two things that is fast session and also some uh, because some was actually giving some uh, what is that collisions uh, uh, with other some uh, there's two multiple types of sums this is actually VoicePath skill dot function sum, so we get uh, give it imported as a SUMO. Okay, so when we, after that we created a session uh, using the builder set the pass park session dot dot builder, and uh, then later become actually accumulator is a uh, what is that a shared variable and uh, you can use it acc we are given acc so you can use it across when you parallelize it across various instances so uh, ac print acc value give uh, current value anywhere okay when it's running so airport df is actually yeah, then we actually load two different CSV files that is uh, airport CSV and uh, by CSV. The contents are actually something interesting. The airport details inside airports and flight details, including uh, delays, air arrival delay, departure delay, arrival airport, departure airport, etc. And also the uh, yeah, the carrier. It is inside uh, It's very uh, interesting. I mean, we are giving the print scheme also so that you can see what is happening there. Uh, next, uh, what we do is uh, we repartition. The repartition actually increases the performance uh, because the value increases the value sum. And uh, that's what it does. Uh, so it is actually Coalis is doing the other other way. If uh, we use Coalis on, that means uh, the partition size decreases to one. And the repartition increases, and uh, this one decreases. That's the difference. And uh, memory usage goes up. Uh, memory usage goes up uh, in the case of uh, repartition, but in the case of Coalis, uh, it de decreases. Then the instances come down. Unprocessed again, it marks uh, objects, and uh, you can actually delete objects uh, in, in the disk uh, if you don't want to save it. Uh, that's what it does. When uh, you, you can uh, unprocessed actually takes one parameter. We give true that means it will delete data from the disk of the flight data gf again we joined join uh, we are joining the files we are seeing joining uh, just remember these are all uh, hacks that we use accumulator repartition colleagues and persist etc so in the case of uh, yeah we are going for joining uh, so we are joining two different data frames airport df and also join df we are actually joining uh, the flight flight df flights df and airport df based on their ids so the destination airport id and airport df dot airport id using inner join and uh, later we actually displace join df dot show actually 
the cache is used to we can actually cache all these things once we joined it it is in the memory and we can uh, we can we, we can reuse it okay we from the cache itself so no need of ever fetching everything from the spark engine itself from the cache we can use it uh similarly uh, using a few columns decreases the memory size uh, so here we are using s3 columns from uh flies df flies df has multiple uh, i think around uh, 10 or 11 columns of this we are using only this much columns and uh, flight uh, select so df selected is having very very much less columns and uh, we filtering based on the arrival delay you can see that it is filtering based on the arrival delay uh, if it have more than 10 hours delay uh, we are filtering it okay i mean we, we it is filtered we, we are fine we are taking it and we are finding the uh, filter df group by career career is actually the company that uh, actually flies you uh, and aggregate we just give some I mean, uh, some notice to the syntax aggregate function and inside that we are giving sum of arrival delay alias sum of arrival delay arrival, arrival delay has an alias that is that's the meaning not the other things so we sort by some of our elderly and carrier carrier is a plain company again so yeah after that we actually displays all the data okay you can see that here this is the schema yeah, that's the airports first one is the airport schema that is the, the data from the accumulator that is it is 160 and uh, the root second one is the flies uh, csp data this is the joined data and uh, next one this is uh, 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 that is a uh, carrier destination airport id and arrival delay the selected columns few columns are we have selected of this of the flights df we have uh, selected the carrier destination airport id and arrival delay and uh, again we filtered it based on uh, if there is more than 10 hours delay we have selected it okay Some of we have, this is the group by result of group by sum of arrival delay. You can see this alias here that we are discussing. These are the sum of things. Okay. Again, next is we create a temporary view based on airport df and flights df. Two temporary views are there airport center flights from that we are trying to join using sql we are trying to join and create an another data frame all the data earlier will be there uh, uh, you can see uh, the explain also explain actually help us is very helpful if you want to if you find any issues with the sql i mean if the sql is very slow or something you can always change something here to fix it file scan okay
this the display here show sqdf.show and afterwards the last thing that we do is we drop the temporary view airports and flights this serving so actually uh, why we are uh, dropping the temporary view is uh, if we run it again otherwise and uh, since we are creating it when we're running it again it will create an issue so now to avoid it we have been using this so these are the things to remember uh, so thanks for watching uh, this was a short video but it will it is very useful please try to follow all these steps or uh, all these things inside your code there are many things that will help you uh, this is on our this few few things we will discuss it in the coming videos also how to improve your code quality and performance of your code uh, thank you for watching keep liking sharing subscribing commenting if you have any doubt please ask okay i'm always happy to help you thank you